both parties, government and closer, uh, have shown a very good faith mm -hmm. as far as this is concerned. Right. Government was very transparent uh, in Chinese called Tomin Du. Mm. That is the level of transparency from the government side was quite uh, high in the mm. sense that government was plain to close up that look, we sign an MOU with you that uh, we're going to have some level of allowance mm -hmm. for the civil servants and local government service staff. Right. Beginning February. Mm. But looking at the challenges that we're facing, uh, we find it difficult to start the implementation in February. Right. So we are pleading with you, close up. Uh, we can only implement that allowance that we say we're going to give to you. Forget about the technology that we called it. Mm -hmm. Because today, that technology, that nomenclature, mm -hmm. doesn't sit well with us as government. So let's have a, a meeting, a team, to look at how it's going to be called. However, that allowance we'll give to you effective the last quarter of the year hmm. from October. Right. Close out accepted the offer. That was last Friday when you met us at uh, the Ministry of uh, Employment and Labor Relations. These engagements were chaired by the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations. Hmm. And so what happened was then that the ministry was going to write to the Ministry of Finance the decisions that both parties you know agreed upon mm. and that the Ministry of Finance would then communicate based on the communication for the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations to controller right. and then copy closer mm. based on that the closer the executives will call off the strike right I've been following it mm -hmm. just this morning the indication is that government is committed to it. Government is working on the letter. So when the letter gets to closer, mm -hmm. the strike action will be called off. So which letter is government preparing now? Is it the decisions that you have? Decisions that both parties agreed upon. Right. It was chaired by the Minister mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. Employment and Labor Relations. Right. Minister will have to communicate this to the Ministry of Finance. Mm -hmm. And based on that, the Ministry of Finance will now write to Control Accountant General, copy closer. Mm -hmm. So my understanding therefore is that it's likely by the end of May, payments will be done or- No, no, no. I said that both parties have agreed that implementation will begin the last quarter. That's October. Right. So there's nothing that's going to be paid- This time around. In May, no. Mm -hmm. The February payment has been suspended mm. and that government had agreed with CLOSAC and CLOSAC has accepted mm. that in October, barring any other uh, challenges, uh, implementation will begin at the last quarter of the year. Right. But the, the bone of contention has to do with the nomenclature which you said earlier. That is exactly the point that I'm telling you that it doesn't sit well with the government and that uh, a new nomenclature will come up without affecting mm -hmm. the percentage uh, increase in allowance mm -hmm. that will mm -hmm. be given to uh, members of the two services. Do you have any further what is being proposed in terms of the nomenclature? I, know, I don't know. A meeting, I mean a, a committee is, is to be set up to look at that one. Since we have all the way up to October, I don't think uh, w w w there's any cause. For what percentage are you close are call for? 20%. 20%. But it started from 80%. Mm. 80%. But finally, uh, government. There are a number of allowances. Mm -hmm. And then government asked Closer to put them together. And that is where the negotiation. In fact, we started this since the year 2019. Mm. Mm. It was concluded in October 2020 with a view that the 20. No, October 2021. Right. With a view that the. No, let me say October 2020. With a view that the 2021 budget 
will take care mm -hmm. of the malignant. Right. That is the more reason why we, we got to this time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, somebody would ask, why is it that a uh, budget was read in November and February, uh, no, in January, yeah. before uh, some allowances would have to be agreed upon. That. Mm. It had been concluded mm. in October. Mm. Mm. Now, now, in this case, are the concerns of Clause are justified? About the percentage increase in salary? Yes, and what they're asking for. I think increase in salary for civil servants, for local government service staff, I think is justified. Mm. Are you not creating a certain path because as we speak currently members of the public service workers union you know, have also issued a similar statement asking for poli uh, political neutrality allowance which which people public service workers union you know. we have the electoral commission mm. we have some members from vra you see I, I wouldn't want to go into the nitty-gritty but uh, if i were you mm -hmm. i would ask for the build up right of their salaries right. whether there's anything that has any semblance mm. with what the civil local government service uh you know uh, staff association is asking for right let's look at the build up of their salaries mm. it is possible that there's a semblance of what civil local government service staff are asking for mm -hmm. i don't know the build up of their salaries but let me say this right. um somebody asked me as the head of local government service before one enters both services, the person knew that you were to be neutral. That's right. Yes, we knew. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that the new, uh, new technologies will look at. Mm. I'm, I'm happy with that. But let me say this. If you wanted to join the police or the military, right. you knew it's a risky area that you are going. Why the demand for risk allowance? Mm -hmm. Why the demand? Is it justified? Yes, it is justified. Right. So uh, that debate, I think we shouldn't go there at all. Mm. Uh, as I said, as I did indicate, government says this doesn't sit well with us. We're going to look for a new technology. And the closer position is this. Fine. Whichever way you call it, uh, we will be happy that that allowance will be given to our staff beginning in October. Now, now you are head of local government. How widespread in terms of impacts of the strike? It is. I mean, the negative impact is quite high. You look at civil servants uh, who work directly with ministers. Yeah. The economy that we are in today, this is a time we should be seen to working harder how to bring back what we lost within the last two years. Right. At the MMDA level, working with regional ministers, no, MMDA level, working with chief executives, yeah. RCECs, mm. working with regional ministers, this shouldn't be the time that people should lay down their tools. Mm. Because look, we need to double the work that we're doing before the year 2020 mm. to be able to get to where we want to get to, the Ghana that we want. So I would say that Although sitting here, it is not quantified, mm -hmm. but generally I would say that there's been a loss. Mm. My final question is, you are confident by close update tomorrow, clocks I will call off? I believe so. I believe so. Very hopeful.